everybody, welcome back to Northern Lions Vanilla Pseudo Challenge Runs of the Binding of Isaac. We're gonna random, and you know what? We actually are gonna random Kane, just to clarify, because uh, that started in a little bit of a more frantic way than it normally does. Uh, this is gonna be a vanilla run, but I like doing the vanilla runs, as mentioned many times. The vanilla runs are, they're challenge runs in their own way, just due to the structure of the game, you know? Every single run has uh, some random or procedural generated uh, elements. Every time we're going to get different items, every time we're going to have different uh, tools at our disposal, different challenges, different adversity over which we must triumph if we want to succeed. Uh, please shoot some more bombs at me. And also, I would love to get a Mr. Mega right off the bat, bat here. It's embarrassing, but even like 541 episodes in, which is where I think we are, it's impressive enough that I can remember what episode number we're on. Um, but uh, I don't know what the actual version of Wrath gives you, like the vanilla version of Wrath, if you get the uh, secondary item or the, the actual like active item as opposed to consumables. I think you can get Mr. Mega, but it might be Mr. Boom. It might actually just be like any of the uh, bomb items. I'm not sure though. Again, like I said, embarrassing, but I don't know. So we get the Lucky Toe. Uh, as far as I know, this is a luck upgrade. We're already playing as Kane, which means uh, I think we already have, if not max luck, very high luck. Uh, this being said, we've got some okay items at our disposal right away here. Harlequin Baby, not a uh, deal maker necessarily, but it's okay. And the Lucky Toe, well, it was worth a bomb to get in all likelihood. We're doing okay on uh, bombs and keys, and we are going to be able to take out our boss in all likelihood. What do I want? Extra health upgrades so we can leverage those into a deal with the devil. That is pretty standard uh, Northern Lion ammo. Uh, and then we'll tailor our run as we see fit from there. We, it's been a while since we've had a run that was... Uh, Focus on deals with the angel. I wonder if we can uh, maybe make that happen on this run. It's kind of, it's all down to luck, so I'm basically just seeing where the, the cards take me, if you will. Uh, Jesus Juice, that gives us a, um, it, it says range plus tears, but if I recall correctly, uh, unless there has been a hot fix, uh, Jesus Juice is actually a damage upgrade. It, like, gives you 50% extra damage from the time when you pick it up, which means uh, the earlier you get it, I guess the less valuable it is, but I'll need a, a Biz snap esque clarification to figure out if that is actually how... Uh, Jesus Juice works. Maybe it is, uh, retroactive. Almost like Pudge's Flesh Heap, if you will. Uh, where it will, uh, boost our damage proportional, even with, uh, damage upgrades we get later. But I'm not totally sure, but either way, uh, never gonna complain about a damage upgrade. Just saying, you know, things could have possibly been... There could have been better timing for it, is one way to put it. So as of right now, we are definitely far from, uh, being overpowered. But that's fairly common, considering we are only on... Well, we're on the second floor, but technically we're still, like, dealing with the, our first floor problems and uh, benefits. So, uh, I think I should go fight the boss right away, just because we're here. It's going to be Steven. Now, I would love to get uh, either Little Steven or, uh, or Little Steve or uh, Steve himself, because obviously damage increases or extra familiars are awesome. The thing, I, I think my love for familiars grows as I get more familiars. So, like, normally, if I was just by myself... I wouldn't really want Little Steven, I would rather have the damage upgrade, and I still might rather have the damage upgrade, but now that I have Harlequin Baby, it's like, it could be fun if we get uh, as many familiars as possible and just fill the screen. I've had good runs that have done that. We are going to get Little Steven, and also we have earned a deal with the Devil, where we could possibly give away, yeah, every single uh, heart that we have, just to roll entirely on Spirit Hearts for now, for Spirit of the Night. Now, was this a smart decision? This is something that remains to be seen. That being said, uh, I can't really pass up on Spirit of the Night when I have the health necessary to pick it up. So I'm pleased with this. Uh, presumably, we should be dealing with floors easy enough to allow me to not take damage. Now, that's uh, the hypothetical ideal situation. Things could obviously go horribly, horribly wrong here, as you might imagine. That is uh, enough money to make the shop worthwhile for sure. And I would obviously... Uh, there's a bevy of items in the shop that would be beneficial for me, including Book of Revelations. The map seems like a no-brainer as well, uh, even though it is going to cost us a lot of money. That will give us the ability to find secret rooms basically for free as we move onwards. What do we have in our item room? Dead Sea Scrolls. What's well, actually... It should be Dad Sea Scrolls, because today is Father's Day. So, Happy Father's Day, Dad. I wish I knew who you were. That's actually a misnomer. I totally know who my dad is, and he's a nice guy. So uh, we're going to head down to the next floor. How are things going so far? We're in a high-risk, high-reward situation. We definitely need to get more HP upgrades as soon as possible. If we go another floor without getting an HP upgrade, we're probably fucked. Uh, but we'll, we'll see what happens here. So this is Curse of the Labyrinth. These are big floors. Uh, I'm going to use Dead Sea Scrolls as much as possible. Largely... Oh, that's real scary. We're one hit away from death now. Uh, largely because... Uh, we could get... I was really hoping there would be like a, a special room there. Um, just clear a path for yourself. Uh, we could get Book of Revelations out of the Dead Sea Scrolls, which is why I'm uh, tempted to use it as often as possible. Now, I'm just trying to get myself to an item room or a shop as soon as possible. There is an item room. Now, just don't get hit. That's a big problem. Um, 
Oh, that was real scary. One more turret left. Please be an HP upgrade or something that ensures survivability for a little amount of time. Unicorn horn. Um, I, I want to roll with it, but at the same time, I kind of need dead sea scrolls for now. Uh, but a unicorn horn is definitely better in the long run. The only question is, is it better in the short run? Uh, and that's, uh, that's a big maybe at, at the current moment anyway. Alright, so these guys are going to die soon. I'm just going to try to stay behind rocks when I kill them. Because that means I'm much less likely to get killed. Please drop a spirit heart here, Mr. Champion. He dropped a pill. The pill could be real good. Bombs are key. That's It gives me more keys. That's something, I suppose. Uh, we're going to move our way to the right now. Still feeling pretty scared about the way things are going. Uh, Mom's bra. This is actually a big bonus because I was very concerned about the fact that I could pretty easily take damage on this room. Uh, so this is one of the few situations where uh, Mom's bra, I think, is actually an enormous benefit for us. Uh, we got another key, and we're going to continue rolling with Dead Sea Scrolls here. Do I sound frightened? I should. Uh, we're on our second item room, and uh, unless this contains an HP upgrade, uh, or we find the shop very soon, I am a scared little boy. Uh, D20. Well, here's what we're going to do. We're going to take this D20. Well, first things first, we're going to shoot all the poop in here, just in case there's a lot of money. Uh, but otherwise, we're just going to use the D6 to reroll like this red heart, and hope that it comes out as a spirit heart or a pill that is like balls of steel or something. Uh... It's a golden chest, we'll open it up, we get a range upgrade. That is an interesting turn of events that doesn't really give me that much benefit. Uh, we are going to quickly come up here and see if maybe that's the shop adjacent to that room. It's not. Adjacent! Press X to adjacent! Anyway, back it up a little bit. Uh, I'm concerned, but still alive. I, I, I should, I'm trying to be exude like a calm a apprehension right now, if you will. Because as bad as things might look right now, they're bad by our own design. If that makes sense. So I can't really complain. Like, any any problem that we're suffering from right now is one that I basically created myself. So, uh, it would be a bit hypocritical, I guess, for me to be uh, overly concerned about what's happening. There is a spirit heart for purchase here. That is uh, the easiest purchase I've made in my entire life. We actually we have no need for the ladder. Uh, so let's move on. Dead Sea Scrolls gives us the Book of Sin here, which has given us a pill, which could be amazing. Uh, we are at the point where it could be potentially uh, disastrous as well if it gives us like a... Um... Oh, we're Kane though, so it can't be like Bad Trip or anything like that. So we might as well take it. Tears up. Nope, could have been better, but that's okay. I can't believe that neither of the item rooms really paid out with something we want here. I, I, should I go with Unicorn Horn instead of Dead Sea Scrolls? Now that I'm at the point where I'm somewhat survivable? It might be in my best interest. Is Unicorn Horn better than Dead Sea Scrolls? Yeah, we should probably go back up and get it. And I mean, I know I should probably explore all of these remaining rooms as well, but, you know, you could forgive me for being a little bit frightened about the way things are going. Uh, what do I want now for the rest of this floor? Uh, definitely HP upgrades. That should be a fucking no-brainer at this point. If I don't get HP upgrades, we've got some real problems. I would also love to get another bomb to be able to go to that secret room. And by another bomb, I mean, of course, a first bomb. More tinted rocks would be fantastic, but HP upgrades, man! I need to get like three HP upgrades, then we can get a Mom's Knife and still be uh, okay with ourselves. Mom's Knife, Spear of the Night is a, a really nice combination, obviously. Uh, shouldn't be complaining too, too much though, because you know, Unicorn Horn is going to be pretty solid for us. We are going to be able to get this chest free of charge. I still, even though we've been in a very dire situation for a while, I think the decision to take Spear of the Night was a smart idea. Now, it might end up being a, a smart idea that kills us. That being said, uh... You know, I'm, I'm giving it the old college try here, aren't I? I've only taken uh, half of a heart of damage on this floor. So I'm pleased with myself. I, for once, I, I'm going to toot my own horn. You know, I normally say not to toot my own horn. But this time, I'm, I'm totally tooting my own horn. And not in a gross, like, smelly, farty way either. Uh, but in a I can't believe that I'm actually still alive sort of way. I, I think I've been playing reasonably well so far. I mean, we, we have definitely some advantages at our disposal. Like the uh, Spirit of the Night, of course. And, uh, you know, the fact that we're doing some extra damage by our familiars as well. But still, uh, better than I would have uh, anticipated. So I'm just going to come back here. I'm going to check out the secret room. If it's greed, we'll just leave. Um, we do have 15 cents, so we can go to the shop on the next floor. The nail... The Mitre, the Relic, Book of Revelations, anything along these lines would be beneficial. But I'm not sure I want to, even though I'm rolling entirely on Spirit Hearts right now. Uh, ooh, this is actually very important for us to play. Even though it's going to cost us some money, uh, we're just going to hang back just in case it creates the tick. This is an interesting situation. Yeah, you know what, I think the, the Crystal Ball actually is more important for us here. Um, oh, there's a mini boss up here. You know, with two and a half hearts, I feel absolutely totally okay fighting the mini boss. So the interesting thing about the crystal ball is obviously it'll function kind of like a map plus compass, but additionally, 
uh, it will give us, we'll get a tarot card from this fight. Um, additionally, it'll give us a spirit heart or a tarot card, like, every single time we use it. So it's, it's a, an interesting choice, that's for sure. The chariot card, that gives us the best of both worlds. I guess we should just take this right away. That is a health upgrade. Oh my god, okay. So things looked real bad for a little while, but we have managed to turn, a, turn it around, and uh, we find ourselves with some actual decent chances for uh, advantages here. Uh, and, you know, we will probably be able to get through these bosses reasonably well. We don't have really any spacebar items that are going to make it easier for us, but that's okay. We're going to have one more room, then we're going to fight the bosses. We'll get another HP upgrade, we'll snag a deal with the devil, and go on this crazy emotional roller coaster all over again. Uh, hopefully not. Hopefully we feel a little safer on future floors. Uh, come on, just pop up. I hate when one of these dudes refuses to do his doodly duty. Not to turn all Ned Flanders on you there. Doodly doodly, what do we have? in our boss room. Fistula. Uh, considering that there's rocks on this room and I have Spirit of the Night which allows me to hang out over the rocks uh, and shoot without being damaged myself, I am going to save the chariot card. I, I was tempted to use it, don't get me wrong. Probably would have sped this up a lot, but uh, there's really no chance for me to take much damage at all. So uh, I think this is a good idea to save the chariot card for whoever the next boss is, which is almost certainly going to be tougher. But if it's not, I'm not going to complain. So we got another range upgrade. Then we're gonna fight Gertie. Okay, I feel very good about this decision now. That just popped the unicorn horn just in time there. Just wanted to uh, make sure that I was having every opportunity to not only kill the nubs, but kill Gertie himself. With one bomb, I'm not going to use that on Gertie, even though I sometimes do like to do that. Again, not to Ned Flanders, you guys. Please give me an HP upgrade and then a deal with the devil. I'm so sick of getting range upgrades at this point. It's not necessary. Uh, he's dead. We get an HP upgrade, we get a spirit heart, and we get a deal with the devil. Even if it's Krampus, I'm gonna be okay with this. It's Krampus, I'm okay with this. Uh, so we kill Krampus, we get Lump of Coal, and then those range upgrades have now paid off for us. Uh, we've, we've had a very rough run of things so far. That being said, uh, we're, we're coming out the other side in a fairly good position. I really do want one more deal with the devil. Uh, which would allow me the benefit of possibly getting a Brimstone Mom's Knife or the Pact. I'd have to think about whether I want to take the Pact. That would probably depend on my balance of uh, heart containers once we get there. Uh, but regardless, I'm very pleased with the way this floor went. We were uh, up against it for a long time. We were down to half a Spirit Heart for uh, what felt like ages. It was more than half the floor for sure. Uh, but we recovered strongly. Now we have two heart containers, a Crystal Ball, three and a half Spirit Hearts. Uh, and, you know, we gained a lump of coal and a range upgrade, which is not the not my favorite upgrades that we've ever gotten, but that's okay. We have unlimited keys on this floor by way of that uh, golden key that we're going to pick up, which is amazing. And uh, hopefully, well, we might as well just pop crystal ball to see what we get here as well, so we can uh, ignore the rooms that don't really matter that much. The Emperor card! Okay, so that's useful uh, to help us, obviously, a little bit later on. We'll, hope, we'll try to save that until we get to the cathedral, but we might end up using it on a an XL utero floor. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, though. We're still far from the point where um, I really consider even beating Mom to be a foregone conclusion. We definitely have the power to beat Mom, but uh, circumstances could get in our way. So let's see what we've got in our secret room. It is Greed. You know what? I almost wish I fought Greed there, because we could probably kill him pretty easily. And uh, he might give us more money, but do I need more money with two shops remaining? Probably not. Uh, let's see what we've got in our shop here. Well, obviously notched axe doesn't really interest me, so I will just buy the spirit heart, even though it costs us a little bit of money. Uh, let's go to our item room before we fight the boss. I'm kind of, it feels bad that there's no uh, other, maybe we'll come across golden chest, but what I was going to say is that it feels kind of bad that there's no uh, library on this floor, because with unlimited keys, we could definitely make use of that. Even if we do want to keep the crystal ball, because we're unlikely to get the map or compass. I mean, if we get the map, or sorry, we, we have the map. If we get the compass, beautiful, then we could uh, get rid of crystal ball, even though crystal ball, there's a, the first hit we've taken in like 10 minutes. Uh, if we get rid of crystal ball, or if we get the map, we can, oh my god, okay, relax for a second. If we get the compass, we can get rid of crystal ball, and that's cool. Uh, but, you know, crystal ball also provides a benefit from tarot cards, and it's given us some very good ones so far. Um, on top of that, uh, it could give us spirit hearts as well, so this could be really valuable. I'm almost, with Crystal Ball, I'm almost at the point where I feel confident enough to like roll permanently on uh, Spirit Hearts. But we'll need to obviously make a deal with the Devil to get that to happen regardless. That could have gone worse. Uh, here is our item room. These, or these guys should not be able to offer too much problem in the way of uh, stopping me from getting there. Please be a damage upgrade or a health upgrade of some kind. The tower doesn't really interest me. The Emperor card is substantially more valuable. Hey, it is actually just a straight damage upgrade and a good one. Uh, Max's head is one of my favorite damage upgrades because it's just, you know, pure, pure damage and I believe it gives you plus two damage, uh, which makes it real solid. So I'm very happy to get that. 
Um, I suppose I should use my crystal ball before we go into the next boss room. There's no reason not to. I might as well use it whenever it's uh, off cooldown. Uh, we'll pick up a spirit heart as a result of that. So we have continued to gain some health on this floor. Crystal ball is one of those items that uh, I like it. I usually give it its due, I think. But by the same token, it doesn't show up all that often. There's a golden chest that's going to pay out with a little extra money for us. Uh, yeah, the crystal ball just doesn't show up very often. So I don't normally get the chance to uh, abuse it as much as I am able to abuse it here. So this feels pretty good. Now I'm going to try to, uh, whenever possible, abuse my lump of coal advantage. There's an extra key for us. And as much as I would love to complain about how this game has gone so far, it's sort of gone according to plan. Like, if, if I'd known that I'd be in this position after I took that uh, Spirit of the Night upgrade, I would make this same decision like 10 times out of 10, because we're feeling... I wouldn't necessarily say we're confident right now, but we're certainly uh, we're not up against it, so it feels good. Uh, let us continue onwards here. I don't like fighting leapers, but, uh, you know, I'll, I'll take leapers any day over a trip to Necropolis and those fucking masks of infamy. Down here, uh, I do want to go through the, um, the mob trap room, largely just because it's an extra one-sixth of a uh, crystal ball charge, so I would feel silly if I didn't do it. That might be one-sixth of a spirit heart. Now, we're probably likely on a, a mathematical level to lose about a sixth of a spirit heart here. Um, which I guess means like there's one in three odds of me losing half a spirit heart or something, but uh, so far so good. We've only got two zombies left. Should be able to avoid getting hit by them, and then maybe we'll even get another consumable at the end here. We got another penny. I would say that it's time to fight our boss, and we'll have another uh, crystal ball available right afterwards. Monstro 2! So this is good because um, he, he's an easy boss. Oh, that's bad damage. But beyond that, uh, not only is he easy enough, I, I just need to get in the right mindset here to push him back into like the center, because I really don't want him to... That's the problem with our shots being like as powerful as they are. They, they push him like all the way across this buttered fucking Teflon floor here every single time. So I've got to make sure I'm, I'm keeping him in like an equilibrium here. And I, I can also hit him like horizontally and vertically, which raises uh, some issues. Because uh, I could actually hit him into me totally by accident. Or hit myself into the, the range of the beam. Anyway, he's dead. We get Pageant Boy, which I'm not psyched about. Uh, Crystal Ball is ready, which we should use on the next floor just so we automatically get a map and a compass. So we can kind of plan our... Uh, plan of attack accordingly. We also get a spirit heart out of that. And there's an arcade. There's a lot of good stuff on this floor. Boss trap room, arcade. Obviously those have great synergy with one another. Uh, so I say we go to the arcade, try to earn our blood bag, and uh, well, be careful. Uh, yeah, try to earn the blood bag, and uh, whether we earn it or not, we will do our best to go to that boss trap room. Hopefully pick up another HP upgrade that we can offer up at the altar of uh, the deal with the devil. That's another speed upgrade for us. The pills have been fantastic so far. Two health upgrade pills, can't really complain about that. And we're definitely going to get enough... Ah, there we go. So it's a bad thing in a way, because we're not going to be able to easily go to this mob trap room. Uh, but maybe we'll get lucky and come across a temperance card or something like that. Recall, I do have this uh, emperor card. I'm going to... Oop, careful. I'm going to save that emperor card for use uh, a little bit later on in the game. He dropped a bomb, which is actually pretty good. I'm not, I'm not low on bombs by any stretch of the imagination, but... Uh, I could certainly use them. So we got another speed upgrade, uh, courtesy of that blood bag. And I'm feeling pretty good now. I, I, I would love to get another tinted rock and get a, a small rock damage upgrade. Samson's lock, probably more valuable in the situation, even though we are going to have to get rid of them for the uh, Polaroid soon. Uh, bombs are key. Sure, I'll pop it. It doesn't really make a big difference, just to get it out of my inventory so I can hold on to the Emperor card. Now, we did pick up the compass, and what this means is that it's totally uh, possible... That it might be in my best interest to get rid of the crystal ball now, even though it does occasionally give me spirit hearts and tarot cards. Uh, we're not going to worry about this issue too, too much. We're not going to waste much mental energy until we come across an opportunity to pick up another uh, spacebar item. And then we'll uh, decide whether it's worth... Uh, it was real bad damage. I thought I was going to time that better. Um, then we'll decide if, uh, if it's worth getting rid of. But, you know, it's totally possible that it ends up being the most beneficial thing for us. There have been many, many situations where tarot cards have been the difference uh, between winning and losing. And, you know, spirit hearts as well. Those are going to be valuable, especially if we manage to get rid of some health in a deal with the devil trade. What is this tarot card? The hero font. See? Maybe it's worth keeping this. But again, I'm not going to expel too much mental energy thinking about it until we, uh, we know if we're going to have to worry about it. Now, we might as well take the rosary. That's more spirit hearts. And uh, it does mean that we're much more likely to get the Bible in the future. But because we've already gone to every shop anyway, it doesn't really have a major effect. It might cost us one item. But, uh, you know, it gave us some uh, spirit hearts in exchange for that. It's almost its own little deal with the devil. We take something for short-term gain that is, that is actually uh, possibly going to cost us a little bit long-term. But here comes our mom fight. Should be easy, and then the, the fun will start. We got map and compass. There's a tinted rock in the bottom left there. Don't get me wrong, I want to get that, but we're, we have, have to time it appropriately. Uh, fight's going real well so far. 
I, I don't know if we're at the point where I could, you know, reasonably call a an Isaac victory or a uh, blue baby victory, god forbid. Uh, but with map and compass, crystal ball floating us a little bit extra uh, on, the, on the spirit heart and uh, tarot card fronts, we definitely have a chance. Man, could we get any more range upgrades, please? So we got another spirit heart there. I suppose we do have Lump of Coal, so it's beneficial in its own weird way. Please tell me we get a deal with the devil. In order for us to get a deal with the devil, we need to not have an XL floor next. Utero 1, that's good. There's a library. I'm not gonna go to it. I know that might seem crazy, um, because I was just talking about maybe getting a better uh, spacebar item than what I already have. Uh, but I genuinely think that even... It, look, Book of Revelations or Book of Belial, I don't think would beat the Crystal Ball in this situation. So... Uh, I'm gonna, even though we do have map and compass, yes. So I'm gonna come up here to our secret room. That was a surprise tinted rock, lucky me. Uh, I am gonna fight Greed just because I don't want to put this bomb here and have him kick it into me. We should be able to kill him really easily and then not have to worry about it. We ended up picking up a dime out of that, which is not really that useful at all. But anyway, still a good floor so far, no question about that. We're gonna be fighting, hopefully... Can you not bomb your way out of this room? Alright, that's real shitty. Uh, but it's gonna allow us to get half an extra crystal ball charge, I suppose. Uh, yes, who do we want to fight? Not death, because I really don't want a single cube of meat. Although it would be okay from a damage standpoint. Or a, a damage prevention standpoint, I suppose. Uh, two keys to get a bomb and a penny. Not a good value proposition, in my opinion. Um, we also do not want to fight the pony, because I, I already have the ability to fly. The Fallen might be a good boss fight, but really I just want to fight anything that has the potential to give me a standard boss item uh, and then pay out with a deal with the devil afterwards. So we're going to get a lot of money from this. We got one key back after our uh, awful key loss situation very recently. It wasn't awful, it just wasn't good. We basically, we traded a key for a bomb, that's roughly an even trade. Uh, and then we traded a key for a penny, which is not even close, but it's not, it could be worse. Blast Assist, you know, this is actually kind of uh, an ideal situation for us, I suppose. Basically gonna be fighting a, a glorified version of Monstro here that's gonna split up fistula style. Uh, we're just gonna try to get out of this dude's way, and uh, by way of my amazing range and Lump of Coal, the way Lump of Coal synergizes with it, uh, I basically don't see any problems here. We should already deal with the devil, because I uh, definitely did not uh, take any damage on this boss fight. As of yet, at least. We didn't earn a deal with the devil, but we did get an HP upgrade. That benefits us. Down to the next floor. It's been a good vanilla run so far. Uh, we I, Again, I'm not sure if we can even bomb our way through this uh, secret room here. Uh, but if we can, this is actually really good for us. Because we can... Okay, now we can leave uh, a lot of rooms for whatever reason. Kind of concerned about starting a chain reaction here, but that ended up working out okay. My, my thinking here is we could go to that arcade and we could get the... Um, we could play the Blood Bank a few times and then go to the Boss Trap Room. But is it worth it? It could potentially be... It, it could yield, like, an HP upgrade for me, but it might accidentally cost me, like, four hearts. So, uh, you know, we'll probably be able to refill those, but is it worth the effort? I don't really think so. I think we're in an okay position as is. The Mom's Heart Boss Fight should be really easy. Uh, and I'm very pleased with the way this run is going from a vanilla run standpoint. Certainly, uh, any anytime you can be in this position, the position that we're in right now, uh, on a vanilla run, you have to uh, praise the random number generator gods a little bit. Uh, that is the RNGG, if you will. I don't know why that actually came out. Uh, RNGG, that could be like a sweet YouTube username or like a Dota username or something. Anyway, nine bombs. Remember, we do have the Emperor card, so pretty much right after this Mom's Heart boss fight, uh, we should be able to go up against Isaac. We're not going to earn a deal with the Devil here, and in fact, I don't think we can earn a deal with the Devil. That was bad damage on my part. Uh, for the rest of the game. Uh, but if we beat the Cathedral, then we will gain access. Please tell me you're dead soon. Uh, if we beat the Cathedral, then we will gain access to the chest, and we do have enough keys to get whatever items the, the chest has available for us. We don't really have sweet damage, so I worry a little that the, um... Kick that in there. Uh, I worry a little bit that uh, the Isaac boss fight is just going to be like a horrible war of attrition and we're going to lose like 80% of our health, including all of our spirit hearts, and then the chest is going to be a goddamn nightmare. Uh, that being said, you know, we do have the, uh, the, uh, the crystal ball, so that might be able to work out well for us. I think it's in our best interest to use the Emperor card here to skip like 10 rooms. Uh, just seems like a smart idea to give ourselves a crack at getting those four items down there in the chest. Now remember, we have no... Um, What's a good way to put it? No defensive items. No cubes of meat, no halo of flies, no blue candles. So I can't block these shots. I have to dodge them, uh, which is going to be difficult. But we are doing more damage to Isaac than I originally anticipated. We, we've been hit twice. We probably have more spirit hearts 
uh, off the screen than we can see right now. Uh, we might be right at the limit, but either way, as long as I dodge effectively, I think we should be okay for this fight at least. Just beating Isaac is, is uh, you know, equivalent to a victory in my eyes, uh, and then we'll see if we can get the... Oh, that was so bad. We'll see if we can get victory plus by beating Blue Baby. So far, so good. I, I expected him to fire a little bit more frequently, so I, I'm pleased that he's been firing at a, a, ver a fairly manageable rate uh, for me to dodge, for my dodging capabilities. Better way to put that. Uh, he'll be entering the third phase soon, uh, also known as the hardest phase, and we'll see what happens with the uh, the items on the chest, I suppose, because I'm, you know, shouldn't count uh, my chickens before they hatch, but uh, uh, we're, we're probably uh, basically guaranteed to succeed on this boss fight as of right now. So just want to kill Isaac first to get him out of the way, uh, then I can deal with these other angel fetuses, which are being pretty annoying so far. It's the benefits of using the Emperor card. We did uh, make that work pretty well for us. So with seven keys, we can definitely pop open everything here. Got roughly the same distance to get to... Okay, we'll take Peeper's Eye. To get to this boss as we did to get to Isaac, so I feel okay about the use of the Emperor card. Book of Shadows, the belt. Okay, we should definitely use Crystal Ball once more to hopefully get us the uh, another Spirit Heart or a good Tarot card. Um, but after that, we can go with Book of Shadows and use Book of Shadows to give us some, uh, extra invincibility to take us through. Now, oh, this is an interesting situation because I can get rid of the Polaroid at this point. So getting the Tick is not the end of the world. Gotof is a speed upgrade, which I don't need. Out of these two, I would much rather have the Tick. And you know what I'm actually going to do? I might just pick up the Tick just so I can keep gambling here. Because then I, I won't be, I won't be worrying about it too much. So this will take some damage from the boss as well. Uh, let's definitely pop the Joker card. Uh, and you know what? I think it is in our best interest to take Brimstone. And it might even be in our best interest to take the Mark as well. Now I'm a little bit concerned, and you know, you probably can understand why. Because now I can see my hearts, and that's a little worrying. That being said, we got more Tarot cards in here that could potentially give us good stuff. The Devil is a good card. Good enough, but hopefully we're, we're hoping for better stuff as well as we move forward. The Fool, not a good card. Uh, two of Clubs. Extra, it's two Bombs. Okay. Uh, we, we don't want the Fool card. We want the other one. The Devil, yes. Uh, and we're just continuing to play this because the Spirit Hearts are very valuable for us. Pinky Eye would have been possibly better than the Tick, but uh, this is really simplifying the situation for us. The Devil card is good. This is the first time I've really uh, taken this opportunity to gamble as much as I have. What is this one? Is that another Devil card? It's kind of hard to tell. The Hermit. Uh, not really that useful. Basically, I'm doing this because I, I did just give up four heart containers to pick up Brimstone and the Pact. Uh, but I'm hoping that this is going to work out for us. Chariot, another good card. Devil is probably more valuable. Um, matchstick we can't even take. We've got another 18 cents. It's gonna take a while, so, you know, you go get a snack or something. Is that another chariot card? It's kind of hard to tell. Might be another devil card. We've got several of those kind of kicking around down here. Uh, we're getting, uh, some frame rate issues, which is kind of to be expected when you got all the shit on the ground. These spirit hearts are exceptionally valuable. This is why it's great to play as Kane. Might be a little bit boring, but hey, look at this. I'm using these advantages at the best that I can. Uh, there was a Justice card in here. Okay, we'll definitely just pop the Hero Font, because that's well worth it for us. Uh, and I'm starting to think, well, the, the, the Brimstone Mark deal is like paid for itself now. Uh, and what card do I want to take out of here? Almost certainly a Devil card. Uh, I mean, ideally, I guess I would take the Chariot, and then I would um, use that, and then come back into the room later and get a Devil card, but it's, it's not worth it. The tick is going to do some damage to the boss, probably not a lot, but, uh, you know, enough. I really don't see anything stopping us now, but stranger things have happened. We've just got, like, another little bit of uh, play to do here. This is going to make it probably impossible to do a sub-30 30, 30 minute run, but that's okay. Is there anything else in the uh, deal with the devil room? I don't think that's possible. Um, so many hermit cards. Cursed Skull. You know, all things told, I'm not actually that pissed off about the... Well, I'm not pissed off in general, but uh, I'm not concerned that I, uh, yeah, I might as well pop that. Uh, I'm not concerned with the fact that we have the, um, the tick. It's probably one of the better trinkets that came out of this whole arrangement. Okay, so I'm trying to pick up either the Empress or the Devil card. Whichever one we get first, uh, will allow me to leave. Okay. Oh, no, I accidentally dropped it to pick up that one. The Devil, okay, the Devil's fine. We'll leave with that. Uh, and again, we're just gonna get, uh, the, what was I going to say? The, um... My, my headspace is all effed up from all that gambling that I did there. I, I can't even form a coherent thought. Um, we're going to get Crystal Ball charged one more time to hopefully get a Spirit Heart or a better Tarot card. And then we're going to run with Book of Shadows, which will give us some fairly substantial uh, invincibility as we move forward. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that brief detour into the, the world of gambling. Uh, I think it worked out fairly well for us. I would have loved to have um, gotten... 
one more deal with the devil or like spent one more heart just so I could have permanent Polaroid invincibility. That's okay. Cancer probably would have been a better trinket. There we go. Now we are going to run with Book of Shadows, which recharges once every four rooms. So I actually don't know if we'll be able to use it before our boss room, but I'm pretty confident that we're going to see ourselves uh, succeeding here. I would be very surprised if we end up losing this one. So even though the items on the chest didn't actually prove to be that valuable, uh, the ones in the four golden chests at least, uh, the items that we picked up afterwards were, were very excellent for us. Uh, like getting Brimstone, getting the Pact, uh, and of course, oh, one more hit, we'll do this. Uh, and of course, uh, you know, the, the, all the trinkets and spirit hearts we got as a result of our little gambling expedition there. Do we have the speed necessary to slide through there, as you can see? Uh, luckily, we also, you know, the unsung hero of this floor so far has been the fact that we've been dealing with some very, very easy rooms. Things definitely uh, could have been much harder for us on the chest so far. So we're going to have, uh, if I had to guess, roughly the same amount of health uh, functionally that we had uh, going up against Isaac on the last fight. So um, we're going to have Book of Shadows as well. The pill is range up. Doesn't really benefit us, I think. Let's do this. So we're definitely going to pop the Devil card, and then, you know, I'll, I'll use the the Book of Shadows when necessary. The longer I wait on it, it kind of seems likely to be better for me. Each Brimstone shot does an F-ton of damage, as you can see. Uh, you know what? Why not just pop Book of Shadows right away, because I'm worried that uh, I'm going to die, or he's going to die before I can really uh, do all the damage that I want to do to him. So he's going to enter the second... Oh, he's already in the second phase. He's going to enter the third phase pretty quickly, if I had to guess. We still have Spirit Hearts off the screen, so I don't anticipate anything stopping us here. So from uh, Humble Beginnings, where we very nearly died on the caves at about six minutes, I was pretty concerned that that was... I was probably about 80% convinced that we were going to die there. Uh, but we ended up turning it around and, and actually turning this into one of the most satisfying vanilla runs I think I've had in a long time. Uh, uh, obviously, the random number generator has to be thanked, as always. Uh, but by the same token, good play, fairly smart decisions, and perhaps, uh, above all else, that uh, smart little gambling uh, expedition I took there on the, uh, the chest is going to be the difference. We're still going to have, we could probably fight him again and still live, uh, honestly. But there you go, one more angel fetus dead, and, uh, oh, alright, fair enough. Oh my god, he's the greatest teleporter of all time. Maybe I'll let my, my kinsman finish him off. There we go. All right, so that was a really good run. It was not much over 30 minutes anyway. As always, uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this vanilla run. I'll probably do another vanilla run next because I'm so excited about the fact that that one turned out so well. As always, thanks for watching. I hope you found this video entertaining and appreciate any support that you can give it. And I'll see you next time.